Welcome back to Fan Cam Commentary, guys. Happy Halloween. Uh, today we have another Halloween episode. This is a Halloween episode because of the content. This is an absolute bloodbath. This is from IWA Mid-South, uh, early IWA Mid-South. This is from 1997. This is Ian Rotten versus a guy by the name of Kip Morris. Um, I'm not extremely familiar with Kip Morris, but Kip Morris did a little stint in IWA Mid-South Wrestling in um, around March and April of 1997, according to cagematch.net. And uh, I did find this match, and it is a, a, a it is a, an absolute bloodbath. This is one of the bloodiest matches I've ever seen in wrestling, which is saying something, because there's been a lot of bloody, crazy matches. I'll wrestle with anybody for a little bit till I get tired of uh, Looking into yeah, Kip Morris a little bit, he, he hasn't done a lot. Uh, he actually weirdly had a match in 2021. Um, Ooh, nice reverse. Looks like in Tennessee, he tagged with Doug Gilbert. Um, and then other than that, he did not wrestle between oh, last man. year and 1999 at all. Um, again, he had just a little brief yeah, little stint there in uh, Ottawa Mid South. Looks like he did something in 1998. Sure uh, he had one match well. in February of 1998, 1998 for Ian Rotten. And earlier, uh, earlier than that, uh, it goes back to 1993, 94, 95. He was wrestling for uh, Memphis uh, in the Memphis area for um, USWA. So yeah, not not done a lot. Weirdly, you know, connected to the Memphis, Tennessee area. Uh, looks like you know a professional wrestler. Looks like he's got a. One of those, he does look like a Tennessee Power, Southern style Power wrestler here. I love the ref here, though. This referee oh. looks like he's probably from back in the day, probably. Looks like he <laughs> definitely has seen some shit. Again, Ian Rotten, this is a fresh off him pretty much leaving ECW. Um, you know, this is early again. What is IW Mid South, I believe, started in 1996. This is the very, very beginning of IW Mid South. Uh, Madman Pondo, Bull Payne. Tracy Smothers, all wrestling on the cards here during this time period. We've got a side headlock by Kip Morris, off the ropes by Ian Rotten. Starting classic style match, tackle. shoulder tackle, Step over. up and over. And, oh, okay, there we go, hip toss by Ian Rotten. Of course, Ian Rotten, one of the most frowned upon professional wrestlers and promoters in the history of professional wrestling uh, today in the deathmatch circuit. Um, you know, always trying to make some kind of comeback or swindle somebody out of some money. I don't know why anybody would ever give Ian Rotten any money. Um, yeah, yeah, I would go to a King of the Deathmatch show or maybe even an IWA show, probably just a King of the Deathmatch show, let's just be honest. But I would not send him funds until I was at the door. I would, I would pay as I entered the building. Yeah, I'm complaining of a back spasm. <laughs> Seen so many people yeah, get screwed over online by this guy. Calling him a tie up. <laughs> it's not going to stop me from doing a, a match from his career, though. He had a, a long career, and Out of Even South was an awesome promotion. They had a lot of classic matches there throughout the years. In the early to mid 2000s, they had one of the hottest deathmatch yeah, well. promotions in wrestling. At first, you don't succeed, bite the man. <laughs> Ouch. And had a hell of a lot of good deathmatch tournaments and matches throughout all of the 2000s and even deep into the teens. When I first, even when I was not first, but when I was getting right You're back into deathmatch in, in about, about the 2017 time period because of guys like Schlack, um, he was still putting on some banger shows. Warning, getting warned here. So you can see this is a kind of a classic style, style match here. That's why I, these rules. I love this rep, man. Look at those sideburns. Got that Elvis uh, comb, comb over going. It looks like he's going to go out after this, smoke a cig, drink a beer. Complained about his, about his titty being bit. I believe it's going to be show up to work on Monday morning. A sawmill. And then the ropes again. Kip Morris getting the count now. Yeah, classic style match. Back elbow. Caught. me in my ear. Ian Rotten right inside the side of the head. And of course, this is after Ian Rotten had been in ECW. Him and Axel Rotten, the bad, uh, the bad breed. Of course, they had uh, their famous feud in ECW that, oh, big diving back elbow, actually. Maybe the most agility shown by Ian Rotten that I've ever seen in my life there. Uh, but the bad breed feud that happened in ECW was a really awesome and legendary feud. You know, you can't take that away from Ian Rotten, no matter how shitty he is the top eight death matches talked about well after they happened clothesline by kip morrison down goes ian rotten again the reason this one is on the halloween editions of a fan cam commentary this month is going to be because of the blood loss that you're going to see in this match uh this is pretty this gets pretty pretty graphic pretty bar pretty pretty barbaric 
just in the amount of blood that is spilling from the head of Ian Rotten. Chris Benoit made famous. Big elbow by Kip Morris. Now, you talk about a strategic placing of an elbow. That was kind of, of a, of a strategic placing of the elbow there, as the, the a commentator was pointing out. Most guys Not the prettiest the elbow, but he absolutely planted it. Cage. Right hand, and down goes Ian Rotten again. You can see a decent kind of crowd here tonight. I think hit a bone there. I believe I looked when I was looking at this card. This was in Kentucky. The, the, the name of the show was called April Blood Showers. Uh, this was matches from April 17th, 1997. Shoots him out to the floor. Outside the under the floor we go here. Oh, we got a weapon. Ian Rotten grabbing a stop or a sign, not a stop sign, by the street sign. And he's going to plant it off the head of Kip Morris. This is where he's got the advantage over Kip. He's not uh, not used to brawling outside the ring. Well, I love being on the floor. I'll tell you that right now. Mix my two favorite things there. Food and the floor. Uh, you can just put some cheese whiz, whiz down the back of Kip What's Morris there. That's just disrespectful <laughs> by Ian Rodden. I'll show him. Yeah, Ian Rodden. There's another big forearm. <laughs> getting control of this match now. Folks, Rico thinks that's first so into the apron there. <laughs> Going under the ring, getting a table. All right, maybe it's not classic rules. There was a count being put in earlier, but the referee being pretty lenient. Again, this is out of Mid-South. They've always been known for being a wild promotion, even in the earliest days here. ring here about that. And Ian Rotten, always known as being a hardcore deathmatch wrestler. Again, stop or not again. I keep wanting to call it a stop sign, a street sign off of the side of the dome of Kip Morris. And that one kind of caught the edge of him, actually, here. Got Kip busted open. Is Kip? Yeah, I was going to say. Kip busted open now and bleeding. Oh, he just pushes him through the table. Weak table here not even Mid-South. And now he's trying to pass him a stop sign. There is a stop sign. Ando fan in the crowd here. And he just pushed him through that table. And okay, coming off the ring apron. Ian Rotten just driving that elbow. <laughs> Cactus Jack style even right down into the floor. There's no pads here. Tons of stop signs. Everybody just robbed the street signs coming into the, the building here. Off of this Kentucky street, uh, no less. I'm presuming. Get Morse getting back up here. I got clocked in the Gilligan's Island region. Now I'm getting a chair. South of Hawaii. Oh, chair over the top of the head of Ian Rotten. By Kip Morris, that just and I'm, I'm 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 really interested to see what uh, over the back that time easy. what cuts open applied, uh, Ian Rotten and any of those chair shots could have done it. They were pretty stiff like and it. right to the top of the head time to walk away from your of Ian. Set now yeah, and, he's uh, cut now. I saw it pouring down the side of his head. No, he just got just thrown face <laughs> first into the chair here. Nothing pretty about that. Both men are bleeding, but I believe that Ian, yeah, he's cut deep. So you can see the blood is. Pulling up under him there early, and now a stop sign to the top of his head. Right yeah, it seems to be that there's no fucking rules in this match. Yeah, it's a, this is going to turn into a bloodbath. I see a looks like a, a bicycle rim out there this is a world being held into the crowd. Like you know, bringing that ECW style fan yeah, base, you know, extreme of type of match you know, to the southern areas. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I know that um, Ian Rotten and Ida B. Mid South ran into Kentucky. Indi Indianapolis, there. As you can see, Indi uh, Indiana, puddling everywhere. Uh, stop sign over the back. Now here we go with the stop sign. Yeah, he is pouring the blood, folks. Ian Rotten is going to become more and more covered in a crimson I mask. To get off the top the rope, Kip Morris. It doesn't look like, doesn't look like he's very comfortable up there, but he <laughs> off the top though and nails Ian Rotten. We got to cover Much worse one. Than that. Two, two count. Ian Rotten getting his hand up, as you can see there, just pouring the blood. He's almost unrecognizable even at this point, as he becomes just completely red. Irish, Irish whip by Kip Morris off the far side. Oh no, here we go, reverse, butterfly. Oh no, planted him with a double arm DDT. Damn, that was actually brutal. Nailing Kip Morris, but he cannot. Brutal. He cannot cover him. He cannot follow up such a brutal maneuver. I was in a, in a dream that, he planted him right on his head. Blood and Kip Morse actually getting up first him. because I would have, pres again, presumed the blood loss and of Ian Rotten just being so much as he is 
profusely blue, bleeding. I mean, the name of the show was absolutely perfect. April blood showers. Going up to the top here. Oh God! Now just planting him face first. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Kip Morris picking up the victory by planting him off the off the top. You Tracy Smothers coming in there. Bull pain. Oh, they're just gonna all come in and put the boots to Ian Rotten, ladies and gentlemen. He is pouring the blood out here. We need some help from the back. There's just no sense in this. They're all just beating the hell out of Ian Rotten here, who was just prone in the ring and uh, was laying in his own blood. I see Bull Payne throwing a chair into the ring here. Oh, yeah. They're just ringing the bell, trying to get some kind of control here. There was no control as all these men are just holding. Oh, God, just wrapping a, cha a chair around the head of Ian Rotten. Tracy Smothers directing traffic yeah. here. Just, and Tracy so Smothers is, so I believe, even is in, in about to come into ECW at this point. Actually. With the full-blooded Italians. But he is directing traffic uh, right down to the back and shoulder of Ian Rodden. But his head is cut wide open. He is for sure going to need some stitches. These guys are just, they're just so happy with themselves. So. Yeah, no one is coming yeah, out to help Ian Rodden here. Somebody needs to get word to the back. Oh, so he's trying to raise up, and he's just I, profusely I, uh, bleeding everywhere. This one is, again, me. not for the weak of heart. Parental Full advisory. Getting out of hand. Yeah. From being my this one will probably get the 18 mark by YouTube, where you'll have to like go through a wall anyways to get into the video, I presume, just from the blood loss. Yeah, happy Halloween. Thanks again for joining me this week, folks. Oh, there they are. Here's everyone coming out. There's Doug Gilbert, uh, I believe Madman Pondo. Young Madman Pondo, baby. Uh, yeah, everyone coming out right now to help out Ian Rotten, who was in a world of trouble. And it, I'm an absolute I'm mess. Or what, you know, uh, yeah, please, down in the description, hit all the links. Go to the link tree. Everything's in there. But uh, hit the Discord. Hit the Patreon. Uh, every week I'm dropping uh, content in Patreon. Uh, a lot of classic wrestling. A lot of deathmatch content, too. Always keep an eye on there. Um, you can get on there for as low as a dollar. Probably one of the, the, I mean, the best value for your bucks in professional in professional wrestling. Honestly, I drop content all the time on there. Stuff you're just not going to get anywhere else on the internet. Tracy Smothers just ready to go at all times with the fans. I love Tracy Smothers. Anytime he's just like, let's fucking go. The heat that he could draw was awesome. Bad things come to. But yeah, Ian Rotten, worse for wear. It's like Pondo trying to get on the mic here. Uh, contribute uh, and not of yay baby of course he ended up is, is running a promotional called out of east coast you know he, he's become love man totally pondo still kills it today to oh and there's a shot look at that just leaking everywhere is ian rotten you can't even see his face there's no white at all it's just a dark mass and that's dark blood too, folks. He uh, he he got cut box. really deep, and I'm presuming it was from one yeah. of those chair shots uh, from Kip Morris when they were outside the ring there. Because yeah, he 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 never really came back You'll after that either. And this is an absolute mess. There's no other way to describe it. This is an absolute mess. Pulling up in the ring there, everyone trying to check on Ian. That was pretty much a lie. <laughs> you know, your feelings of whatever. We're deep into the future after this match, but whatever your feelings are of Ian Rotten, you know. You know, she's she's kind of gotten used to me. Yeah, know, he put on some, he put on a few bangers out there. That. No. I mean, that is, that is the that we can look back on. The word and uh, someone, yes, yeah, is crying now, getting upset at the. I mean, look at him. Again, that's why I want to do this for the Halloween episode. It, it upsets me. To getting a towel on him. And watch it happen to me. Trying to get a towel on him there. Uh, you know. Yeah, folks, keep an eye out for the live streams. Uh, every weekend, I'm trying to do a live stream. I'm trying to do it every Saturday. Every once in a while, I, I don't hit the Saturday mark. But uh, also, every um, week, dropping regular content. Keeping out for the podcast that's been dropping weekly. Not weekly, excuse me. Um, about every two or three weeks, a podcast will come out. I think we're coming up on episode 10. I usually do that with my brother, Dan. Uh, but also, please go over and subscribe to uh, my second YouTube channel. Me and my brother have a second YouTube channel called Publicly Buzzed. Uh, we play video games over there and also review random pop culture type stuff um, and talk shit just in general shit um, yeah really appreciate any of the any help over there especially you see if they're still trying to get Ian Rotten out of the ring here and he's not doing too well is he gonna be able to get out on his own accord they're rolling out of the ring here he's got a lot of help 
And, um, yeah, yeah they're going to try to get Ian to his feet, I guess, is the question. Because he definitely seems to be worse for wear and a little woozy. But yeah, folks, thank you again. Uh, I will see you next time. Um, again, happy Halloween. Uh, we'll see what we get into next week, but keep an eye on the channel because there's going to be some more content dropping soon. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, please head over to the Patreon. The entirety of this match with no edits is over there. Also, please consider becoming a Patreon member. I upload an, a lot of full shows, um, a lot of old school wrestling, a lot of NWA, a lot of WCW, a lot of deathmatch content. A lot of stuff that you're not just going to get on YouTube and a lot of stuff that you just can't get on the internet. So please go over to the Fan Cam Commentary Patreon. Um, you can become a Patreon member for as low as a dollar. There's a few different tiers there. But yeah, I really appreciate it. You would help out, help out somebody that can't actually get monetized on YouTube with the content that I produce. Really appreciate it. Thank you.